Hi all, in this lecture we will talk about aggregate functions. So let's see the objectives now. In this lecture we will learn what is group by and order by clause and how can we use group by and order by clause with aggregate functions. So we will be talking about the functions count, max, min, average and sum. So let's go to the lab and see. Okay, this is my spark shell. So let's first prepare the data. So I'm going to read the product table and categories table from Hive Meta Store. So I'll say, well, prod is equal to spark dot SQL select star from default dot products. And now I'll be reading the category data so I'll say well cat is equal to spark dot sequel select star from default dot categories and then I'll be registering prod and cat data frame as a temp view so what I'll be doing is I'll be joining product stable and categories table we have registered them as a temp view and then I'll be creating the final data set and then we will be working on top of that data set so I'll say well data is equal to spark.sql and let's write the query select star from select star from products p join categories c on p dot product category id which is equal to c dot category id this is my query on top of this query i'll say i want to drop few columns that are not required so i'll say dot drop and there are some columns that i'm that i'm going to drop now now this is how this is my data frame so I'll say data dot show and give me five records. Now this is the data on which we will be applying the aggregation functions. So we have product ID, we have product name, product price, category ID and category name. Let's create a temp view for this data frame. So I'll say data dot create or replace temp view and inside temp view let's provide a name. So my name will be products underscore view. This is the data that we have. Now we have products underscore view and we will be applying aggregate functions, aggregation functions on top of this view. So let's see. Let's say we want to calculate number of products in each category. How can we do that? To calculate number of product in each category, we can use a group by clause. Let's see that. I'm going to say, well, result is equal to spark.sql. And now I'll be writing a query. So we have a column category name. And then based on the column, I'll be applying a group by clause. So I'll say select category name. And I have to calculate count of all the rows in that category. So I'll be using count function and then I'll be fetching this data from my products view that we created just above and I'll be using a group by clause group by category underscore name and this is my complete query okay so we got the result data frame let's see some of the data result dot show and give me five records Okay, so we can clearly see that we have category name and then we have the total products in each category. So, in this example, we have used a group by with count function to calculate the number of products in each category. We use this group by clause to divide the rows of a table into smaller groups and then we can use the group function to return summary information for each group. So, let's see one more example. 
let's return the data in descending order based on the count so this time we have to apply aggregate function but we have to sort the data in descending order based on the count column let's see that again i'll be writing a query let's say result val result 2 is equal to spark dot sql and let's write the query so select category underscore name comma count of one and the name of the column is count from products underscore view okay then i have to use a group by clause so i'll say group by category underscore name and we also want to sort the data so i'll say order by now i'll be using the order by clause and i'll I'll specify the column count because we have to sort the data based on the column count which end in descending order. So I'll specify descending and this is my final query. Okay, so we got the data frame result 2. Let's see the data now. Result 2 dot show and let's see 10 records. Okay, now we can see that in this data frame we have category name and count but the only difference from the previous example is the count is the data is sorted in descending order based on the column count so we can clearly see that accessories category has got 72 products and then trade in then electronics and so on so this is how we can use group by and order by clause okay Let's go one step further. Every category has got multiple products and each product has a different product price. So let's say the requirement is now for every category I want products with maximum price, minimum price and average price. So in this data frame in the final output I want category name and then I want minimum price for that category, average price for the category, maximum price for that category and also we can calculate some of price for all the products in that category so let's write a query well result 3 is equal to spark dot sql and the query starts select category underscore name this is the first column that I want and then I have to calculate the minimum price for that category I can use a function min and the column I'm interested in product underscore price Let's name this column min underscore price. Now I have to calculate the average price. So I can use a function avg average and then I can pass the column name product underscore price. And let's name this column avg underscore price. We have to calculate the max of the product price here. And then let's give it a name max underscore price and finally let's use a function sum for calculating the total of all product price for a category so sum of product underscore price and let's give it a name sum underscore price so these are the four columns that I'm interested in I want to fetch the I want to calculate these columns from the products view products underscore view and I have to use a group by clause here so I'll say group by category name category underscore name this is my complete query so in this query we have used four functions four aggregate functions min average max and sum and we have done group by using the column category underscore name this is my full query and let's see the data so we got the data frame result dot show and let's say show me top 10 records okay my bad it is result 3 dot show so i have to say result 3 dot show and give me top 10 records okay so we can clearly see that for a category name we have the minimum price for that category we have the average price for that category and we have got the maximum price for that category and finally we have calculated 
the product price for all the products in that category. So in this scenario, we have used a group by clause stating which column to use to group the rows. So we are done. So in this problem statement, we have learned how to apply, how to use group by and order by clause and then how to apply the aggregation functions like count, min, max, average, sum. Okay, so thank you.